This news update is brought to you by. It's gonna be a big blue summer. The Big Blue Summer Celebration with Flow is here. Make yours unforgettable. Sign up for big bundle savings. Build your essential bundle and save big money. Blow out the candles on Barbados' 50th and Flo's first Big Blue birthday celebration. To win big prizes including $10,000 in cash, big time sports coverage at home or on the go with Flo TV, like the Olympic Games in Rio and the new home of Premier League football. Watch it all with big data and big style on the fastest 4G network. The world's biggest sporting events this summer are all on Flo. The Big Blue Summer Celebration is here and Flo is your official partner. This is how we flow. This is the Barbados Today Afternoon News Update for Wednesday, July 20th. Thank you for joining us. I am Mary Claire Williams. The former president of the Barbados Bankers Association, Horace Cobham, says the local economy is now past its worst and is now headed in the right direction. But he told Barbados Today he would not get overly excited about any economic expansion that is less than 2%. Cobham was speaking ahead of the release of the central bank's half-year report, which showed a 1.3% growth so far. He says it is critical that government gets the fiscal deficit under control while ensuring that the environment is right for increased economic activity. I don't think I'm in a position to tell government what to do in specific cases, but certainly one of the things it needs to focus on more directly is how you can get that deficit. Some people say to manageable levels, mm -hmm. and, and one can argue that for small economy like ours, you gotta think of the social impact and so on, so therefore manageable is appropriate. Mm -hmm. But you, you see, it can be manageable indefinitely. At some point in time, it needs to turn positive. If it doesn't turn positive, it means that you have to finance it. Once you have to finance it, it means you have to borrow the money. Mm -hmm. If you have to borrow the money, you have to pay it back. And if you have to pay it back, it has to come from somewhere. The only place it can come from is revenue generated by government, i.e. taxes. So the key is the matter is that it needs to get to a point where I think we can see somewhere in the future that it will turn positive on its own, or you literally got to take steps to make it turn positive. Meanwhile, there are projections that over 600 million U.S. dollars will be pumped into the local economy over the next four years. Central Bank Governor Dr. Delisle Worrell says this investment is expected in the tourism industry. And he added that fiscal consolidation must remain a priority for the Frendel Stewart administration. For the 2016-17 fiscal year, public sector investment of $210 million is planned, with $165 million being externally funded. Between 2000 and 2008, government's fiscal deficit as a percentage of GDP averaged 3%, with average revenue and expenditure accounting for 27 and 30% of GDP, respectively. Following the global recession, government's fiscal accounts began to deteriorate with a deficit of 11% of GDP and expenditure of 38% of GDP in fiscal 1314. In response, government committed to a series of fiscal adjustment measures under its medium-term program, which served to reduce the deficit to 5.4% of GDP in fiscal 1516. Minister of Transport and Works Michael Lashley is making a case for changes to the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. Speaking in Parliament yesterday on the Constitution Amendment Bill of 2016, he insisted the debate should have focused on improvements to the DPP's office as part of moves to speed up the delivery of justice. Against that background, Lashley said it is time for the country to revisit a proposal for the establishment of a national prosecution service that would involve the hiring of legally trained officers to conduct prosecutions, particularly at the level of the magistrate court. It will mean, sir, of course, 
either the contracting of persons from the private bar to engage in prosecution, to assist, to assist this department, because if you're speaking, it was mentioned here, you're speaking, if, if you're speaking about the administration of justice and the deliverance, the deliverance of, of, of a speedy form of justice, those reforms, Mr. Speaker, we should really be, be attesting to and, and, and looking at. The Constitution Amendment Bill was not passed yesterday after it failed to get the required two-thirds majority support. MP for St. George North, Glenn Clark, wants the district's constituency council and Anglican churches in the area to work together to ensure that parishioners who are entitled to land receive their titles. Addressing a meeting of the St. George North Constituency Council at the Valley Resource Center last night, Clark called on the church to be more active in looking after the needs of residents. This is a big community, the Anglican Church, and we can work with the Anglican Church to see how we can help. Again, I find that over the years, Mr. President, that the persons who live on the Glebe have not got title yet. Again, you need to carry out a program to see how you can fast track that because you can work with the government. You can say, look, let's undertake a program to see all those persons who still live on the Glebe who do, have not been able to buy their land. That is a program that you can look at to help fast track that and to allow government to be mindful. There are still, um, I, get, I believe that there are some people who have bought, a lot of people have not bought. And we need to be able to fast track that to see what programs that can work with the Anglican Church to help. There's regional and international news after this short break. The ultimate adventure begins at Courts. For every $100 spent, you get a chance to win a trip for four to Universal Studios, a Samsung 55-inch curved TV, or one of five S7 handsets. Plus, buy any Samsung TV for a chance to win a 65-inch curved TV. Purchase one of our featured audio systems for a chance to win a PlayStation 4 or your purchase free. Shop with Ready Finance and pay nothing down for 30 days. Join the adventure only at Courts. Bringing value home. I love it. I love it. I Do you want to make sure that your favorite BT Soka Royale champion hopeful is in with a great chance of winning $10,000? Well, it's simple as going to www.facebook.com forward slash Barbados today to cast your vote. These are the finalists. Mr. VJ and King Julian, Summer Again, Joaquin, This Place, Sammy G, Mash Up The Place, Damien Marvey, Know The Face, Azizi, My Reason, Donnell, Wet Me, Griner, Turn On The Speaker, Hyper Songs, Bam Bam Back, Faith Calendar, Hunted, and Mr. Dale, Nothing Sweeter. Special thanks to these sponsors, Flow, CGI, Capital Media HD, the Barbados Public Workers Cooperative Credit Union Limited, the 50th Anniversary of Independence Celebration Secretariat, and the NCF. ICBL T20 Cricket Party, more than a match to Gary's 80th birthday, celebrating the greatest all-rounder and our national hero. You can't beat that. July 28th, 6.30 p.m. Tickets from Kensington Oval, CS Pharmacy, and TicketPal.com. Hosted by the 50th Anniversary Secretariat. In news from the region, Haiti's interim president, Joclem Prevert, has ordered that voters elect a new head of state on October 9. A statement issued by the National Palace says the issue was widely discussed at the cabinet meeting on Tuesday and it quoted Prevert as saying the poll is critical to the country's political future and under no circumstance can they miss that deadline. The statement was issued after the parliament in Port-au-Prince failed to meet for a fourth consecutive time last Thursday to decide on the future of Prevert, whose term expired more than one month ago. And finally, on the international scene, authorities in Turkey have formally charged 99 members of the military's top brass in connection with last weekend's failed coup attempt. They have also banned all academics from traveling abroad as the purge continues of state employees suspected of being linked to the failed coup. To date, more than 50,000 people have been rounded up, sacked or suspended. 
Additionally, more than 1,500 university deans have been forced to step down from their posts, as well as 21,000 teachers and 15,000 education ministry officials. They are suspected of having ties to the alleged mastermind of the coup, the U.S.-based cleric Fatula Golen. He denies any involvement. And that's the news this afternoon. Remember, there's more on our website, www.barbadostoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook. You can find us on Izumi Media in bus terminals and screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Or you could tune into Channel 99 on Flow TV or Mix 96.9 FM for more news. I am Marie Claire Williams. Good afternoon.